Following the news this week that recording artist and industry magnet Bob Dylan would be laying off 2,000 workers from his Muscatine, Iowa songwriting factory in an effort to streamline his music-making operations, The Onion spoke with veteran factory worker Travis Felton, who received a pink slip earlier today. I've been working on the lyric assembly line for 25 years now. Punch in each and every morning, make sure the words are complex and poetic, and yesterday, the foreman calls me into his office to tell me that the company is reducing headcount. They're giving the whole rhyming section the boot. It's a hell of a thing to find out after you've been churning out verses all day. The mass layoffs, which follow years of financial losses dating back to the 2006 Modern Times rollout, come as Dylan attempts to stay afloat amid increasing outsourcing from industry rivals such as Van Morrison, Leonard Cohen, Neil Young, and the E Street Song Corp. Dylan released a statement earlier today saying, while we appreciate the efforts of our loyal staff of rhythm fitters, metaphor galvanizers, baseline mounters, and symbolism press operators, we must eliminate composition inefficiencies if we are to continue generating profits for our shareholders. However, such reasoning is little consolation to the longtime factory employees who find themselves struggling to find work in the once proud American songwriting industry. What Mr. Dillon and the other suits don't understand is that here in Muscatine, songwriting is all we have. And we've been doing the best damn Dillon songs in the world for over 50 years. And now they're trying to take that away from us. I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. Well, I Guess I could see if they're hiring over at the Tom Petty factory in Hurstville. Lord knows I hoped it'd never come to that. For more on this story, check this week's Onion Review.